ladies and gentlemen and programmers, we're going to do Code Academy Lesson 10, Part 5, called Using For Loops. Make sure that you write 10, 5, Using For Loops at the top of your notes and write your name, and then get that section signed off after you write down your intelligent question. Speaking of intelligent questions, um, let's go ahead and figure that out. So let's go to the project here. Okay, so you're supposed to read all of this over here. Read. 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 Okay, so after you write, read that, uh, write down your intelligent question, and we're going to move forward on the project here. Okay, so let's see what's next. All right, uh, write down in your notes, what is an off by one error? Uh, make sure you read that section and answer that question. What is an off by one error? Um, okay, so open JDoodle and save your project as that and copy this code in the body the main method. Okay, so we're going to, let me see, so we're going to copy this code here. All right, so we're going to go to JDoodle. Okay, so we're going to go to, okay, so here's the, make sure you find the main method. Here's, the main method goes from here to here. So we're going to delete all this stuff. And we're going to press Control-V. All right, so let's hit execute to see what it does. All right, so there's an error some, for some reason. All right. I don't know if you have All right, let's execute that. It's the end wall part. Oh, I must have killed the. I must have ki killed the curly brace. Okay. All right. So we got to fix the errors on that. Okay. So let's go back to the code, the project here. And see what it says to do. Okay, open up JDo and save your project as copy this code to the body of the main method. Fix the code so that it correctly adds up to 55. Okay, so then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to print it out. All right, so let's go ahead and print this. We'll have to print it out. Okay, so let's go back to our uh, project here. Okay, so then right here we're gonna have to say, oh, we have to save it. Don't forget to save it. Okay, so you want to save it as Code Academy 10 5. Okay. All right, so let's do, let's do let's click right here. System dot out dot line, and you want to print some. Effort. So you're supposed to be adding it up. Let's do that. So let's hit execute. Okay, so it gets up to 45, okay, and so it should be 50, and the reason it, it's 50 because the first time through it's counted zero, okay, so we got to figure out how that we're going to get it to fix that, we're going to have to get it to fix that. Okay, so let's take, let's jump back to, let's jump back to Code Academy. All right, so the problem that we're having is um, an off by one error, okay. So it's not, we thought it was going to add up each time and it's actually skipping one because we're off by one, right? So let's go, let's jump back to JDoodle and see what, what's happening. So you can see the problem is, is the first time through it's adding zero. So let's run through this. Okay, so we have a, we, we have a variable called sum, okay? And the first time through, um, sum, basically it says sum, it says basically take sum which is zero and add i, but the first iteration through i is zero, and so it's adding zero to it. That's not what, what we were we had in mind. So there's a couple ways that we could do this. Um, so one of the ways would be to change this to eleven. Okay, so that'll account for that it being zero first time. So let's execute it and see what happens. Okay, and so that so that that did it okay um
Okay, so you can see on this one again that um, it adds up to 55 like the instructions ask us to do. But it is a little bit odd that it starts off with the, the zero. So, you, that, you know, you might want to try it, like, try it this way. Um, so you could say int i equals 1, right? And then let's hit execute there and see what happens. All right, so now it starts at 1, and then it still gets up to 55. So that's probably... Um, so that's probably our best solution to that. Okay. All right. So, and that's again the off by one error that we're talking about. All right. Let's jump back into the spiel. Okay. So now complete uh, part five and move on to six. If you want to do part five on your own, you can. If you want to do it with me, I'm going to go ahead and do it with you. So let's jump back over here to Code Academy and let's see what they say. So basically they have a while loop, okay, with the regular structure. So you start with your, you create your integer here, cups of coffee. That's going to control the loop. And then you have here cups of coffee plus plus where you increment it. So that makes it to where that you don't have an infinite loop. Right, so now we're going to refactor, refactor or rewrite this code as a for loop. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to while and we're going to change it to for. And um, this is going to disappear from over here. We're going to go control X and then we're going to put it right here. It goes inside of it and we're going to put a semicolon. Okay, and then we're going to get rid of, we're going to just comment this out. Okay, so that doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so in cups of coffee equals one. We're going to do the loop as, for as long as cups of coffee is less than or equal to 100. And then we're going to put a semicolon here. And then we're going to copy this. So we're going to again go control C. And then we're going to put it right here as well. And then we don't need, if we leave that, that's going to cause problems if we have it twice. And... I think that should be it. Let's see what happens. Okay, yep. Fry drinks a cup of coffee, number 7988. So that guy's drinking a lot of coffee and it likes it. And I think we're good. Okay. All right, good work. Catch you on the next one.